Question time. Question time. Question number one from Dallas Austin. Are you doing okay? Um, yeah, I'm basically doing okay. My wife thinks I'm depressed. She recently started taking Zoloft, and it's really helped her with her uh, depression and anxiety. I think you can't exist in the world as it is right now without uh, being anxious and depressed. I don't know. I think it's weird to not be anxious and depressed with the state of the world the way that it is. I don't know. That's just how it is. I, I've always had anxiety, and maybe it's getting worse. I don't know. I don't really feel that way, but my wife seems to think thinks that it has. So I guess I'm I, I guess I'm doing okay. How are you? How's it, how how are you doing, Dallas Austin and folks? I feel like a lot of times you all worry about me based on the kind of songs that I'm writing, and I don't think necessarily that's how that works. Sometimes I can write a really depressing song even if I had a really good day. But yeah, I'm doing as well as one can be expected with two young children and uh, the fate of the world uncertain. Next question. <laughs> Next question uh, from Claudia. Claudia Almeida. Hey, Jonathan, do you still enjoy making YouTube videos? Well, Song a Day has always had ups and downs, and so I enjoy it more or less based on whether I'm in an up or down period, if that makes sense. YouTube, I've never had a particularly warm feeling towards. I feel like it's gotten worse lately, you know, and by lately I mean... I don't know, the last couple years. Um, I think that it's just so unlikely now that anyone would discover my music via the algorithm. Um, and the algorithm is uh, this sort of self-feeding process. So, you know, the more people click on your stuff, the more people click on the stuff. And the less people click on your stuff, the less people click on your stuff. It's always been like that to one degree or another, um, I feel like it's gotten worse. And sometimes I find myself feeling bad or worrying about the number of views that the videos are getting. But truth be told, as I made my song the other day, it's like, you know, I don't do it for you. I do it just as much for me as anyone else. And I would be doing it regardless of whether I was posting them to YouTube anyway. There's a lot of things you can do on YouTube uh, to get people to click on your videos. You know, the thing I was talking about, bah, making funny faces in the screenshots, giving things, you know, clickbaity titles, doing lists of things and all that kind of stuff. And it's just like, I, I can't really see myself doing any of that. Um, and I know I'm not everybody, everybody's cup of tea. So the way that I've always done it is just to be myself and just to do my own thing and not really worry about any of that stuff. And YouTube does not reward that, you know, at all. So I enjoy it, and as much as I enjoy making a song every day, um, seeing your guys' comments every day, um, but everything else around YouTube I don't really enjoy, I guess is the, question, is the answer to that question. Charlie Lopez, have you ever visited Mexico? And if not, will you visit sometime? I have not, this is easy, I have not visited Mexico. I have no plans to visit Mexico. I would like to visit Mexico. Again, with two young children, it's probably not in the cards in the near future, but maybe someday, Charlie. I don't know. I'd like to. And finally, Dominic asks, what's your favorite instrument to play? How many instruments do you own? What instruments do you own? Can I send you weird instruments to write songs with? If so, how? And what is the meaning of life? Okay, that's a lot of questions, Dominic. You, you watch every day, so I'm going to answer them. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know how many instruments I own. Let's see. I own this shaker, a bunch of harmonicas, a banjo, a nice Martin guitar, Ooh. this crazy one-of-a-kind bass, Ooh. this guitar that a fan sent me years ago in like 2011. This is my second guitar that I ever owned. I got when I was 14. And it's very busted and broken, but I love it. This baritone ukulele that I um, got maybe sophomore year of college that has that maybe more song a day songs have been written on than any because I used it so much in the first three or four years. This ukulele that belonged to my grandma. 
This weird harp thing that belonged to my grandma. This toy piano that was a gift from Thomas Hughes when I had my first baby. A box full of all kinds of percussion. A 12 string that I never use because it's super busted. This old little ukulele that I've given to my kids. This mini guitar called a gitalele. And I recently purchased some drums. Just the drums themselves. No hardware, just the drums. Um, I have this keyboard that I use to record. You know, this plugs into my computer and I work the computer magic with it. So I don't know, I wasn't keeping track of how many that is. That's a lot of instruments. Uh, what's my favorite instrument to play? I, um, I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea which is my favorite. Um, it probably changes over time. Can you send me weird instruments? Yes. That would be something that I really would enjoy. I don't currently have a P.O. box. Uh, actually, I might. Let me check with my wife. We might actually have a P.O. box. And if we do, I'll put the link, I'll put the address in the description. That would be really cool. I would love some weird instruments to write songs on. The meaning of life. Well, the nerd answer is 42. Uh, but the honest answer, I think the meaning of life is um, whatever you make of it, I guess, you know, to do your best and, and uh, be kind to people and be kind to yourself. And uh, don't give up. Just every day is, is hard. And just keep trying. That's the meaning of life. Okay, that's been the questions. And um, I guess if you like this, leave more questions down there. And I'll answer them again. Okay, bye.